Maestro. Maestro. Dirty. Yes! Wow. This is cool. Let it go. How about you hold it? Oh. There's a lady in the waiting Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to my dirty shorts. <laughs> Hi fam, how y'all doing? Another great prep week. Always a great prep week. Never not a great prep week, right? You know, that's how we handle up and some more prep. Woo. Um so this is gonna get right to it. Uh just checking out some more talent. This is gonna be kind of a rinse and repeat on on someone here that I want to give a shout out to, and that was got a chance to watch Cameron Troy. Uh, the, a really good handle game. Uh, what I tended to see with his particular game, and I'm suggesting this this way in this aspect of it, is so I'm going to give him three things, like I always try to do, because I always want to help guys out, and hopefully help some other guys out too. Because his game was so good that these things just sort of glared out at me. One, learn to go right. Because even when you went right, you still went left. All your moves were to the left, to the left. Don't get yourself to be one-dimensional like that. Make sure that you're using the court either way. There were a couple of times when I saw you set up to the right-hand side of the court in your run. And you would go to the right because you dribble with your right. You go to the right. But then your action move into the play up was again to the left, having to come back around traffic. So both ways, my man, make that work. The other thing I want to say is stay in the play. Shot goes up. Whether you take the shot or don't take the shot, stay in the play. Either go toward the ball or become the outlet or be the relief in the transition. But stay in the play. A lot of times when the shot went up, no matter who took the shot, you, you kind of looked flat-footed. You always have a place to be. You always have the place to be. And with your quickness and your ability to move on point, those two extra steps while that ball is in the air can mean the difference between you getting a clean breakaway, snag and rebound from one of those bigs, or just being able to be more impactful of a cog for your team to rotate or reset a play. All right? And the third thing I want to give you is... Make the court smaller. That's what I mean when I say that. A lot of times it seems like you were, as you should, you were scanning the whole entirety of the court. But you weren't scanning with the purpose. Make your area of action smaller. Bring the ball up. I make a pass to the right. As I make a pass to the right, my mind is already on wherever my next spot, my next location is going to be. As I pass the ball, I no longer have responsibility for the ball. If I made a good pass, hopefully you did. What I'm going to do now is I make that pass. I start my step right away to whether I'm going to cutting to the basket to the give and go, the old school move like that, or I make the pass. I'm running to set the screen. I make the pass. I'm going to cut right down the middle. Another form of the give and go to the high side for the alley oop. Whatever those things are, have that already in your head. And so what, what I'm doing is I'm making the court smaller by deciding where I'm sending the ball and where I'm going to go in that moment. Don't just pass it. He caught it. Now let me decide where I want to go. Okay? All right, my man. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Hopefully it helps you move forward a little bit. Hopefully it helps you go a little bit further in your game. And uh, everybody else, you know the deal. Holler at your boy. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Let me know what else you want to talk about. And you know the deal. Never let Jason Bourne borrow your car. Oh, wait. Do you want me to read? <laughs> Thank you again for checking out the Maestro Sturdy Choice. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. The Maestro. Dirty. Ah!